Alright, so that was day 82. Let's get into day 83, folks. So this is me on day 83. Check this out. Day 83 of the protest, folks. This is me. Look how beautiful I am. I don't know what to tell you, though. Like, I really don't know what to tell you. I am literally the most beautiful person who's ever existed. I, I don't make the rules. You know, I'm going out there protesting the government, and I'm looking hot as fuck while I do it. I, I, hey, I'm not, I, I, like, it's not like I'm trying here. I barely, I didn't even brush my hair. I'm wearing the fucking, I'm not wearing the same shirt. I, but I wore, like, a t-shirt. How am I looking this goddamn amazing wearing a t-shirt while I'm protesting the government? It's ridiculous. It's out of control. And someone needs to stop me because otherwise, like, it's, there's a serious problem. Again, look at me. Look at me. Can you believe this shit? What is going on here? That's me protesting the government. It's amazing. Like, that's, like, super amazing stuff. Also, check this out. Look at that. Look, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. 83 days of protesting, and I'm still looking sexy as a motherfucker. Again, I don't make the rules. So after uh, getting out of court and doing all that shit, uh, we decided to have a protest. We protested the government once again. Um, let me find the video real quick. Oh, this is a great... Okay. Nope, that's not the right one. Okay, hold the phone. Alright, so... I believe what we did was we did two separate demos. If I remember correctly. So we did one before the county commissioner meeting and one afterward. So to my understanding, this is the one we did before the county commissioner meeting. And uh, so the county commissioner meeting was at 6 o'clock. And so we decided to go in and speak at the county commissioner meeting. Um, and then so the people that got here early decided to do a quick demo up and down Main Street. Uh, and again, Main Street is how you get to the courthouse where the county commissioners meet. So we, we blocked their street. Uh, if some of them were arriving late, uh, they would have to find another way in. Pretty good. Uh, and so we did a quick demo up and down Main Street. And then we went inside the court ass house and uh, decided to go to the county commissioner meeting. And so this is the video of me going in the court ass house. Check this out. So I'm going in. Look at this. So I'm in the courthouse. I'm putting my phone in the tray. Look at that. See, wait for it. And then I pick it back up. I'm on the other side, folks. So we're going to the county commissioner meeting. And then I'm going to make a separate video about this. Uh, but that's me, and I'm looking pretty good once again, and uh, that's the county commissioner meeting. So I'm going to make a separate video about that, but I'm going to get back to the protest because we did another demonstration after the county commissioner meeting, and I want to talk about that. So we had a lot more people um, afterward, and what we decided to do was once again march on down to the Black Lives Matter street mural on Colonial Avenue. Um, during the county commissioner meeting, it was up for discussion on whether or not they wanted to spend 20 eight thousand united states dollars of taxpayer money to move the confederate monument twenty eight thousand dollars that are going to waste flush down the toilet to move that confederate statue it does not cost twenty eight thousand dollars full stop it doesn't but they voted ahead uh to spend twenty eight thousand of our dollars meanwhile one in ten high school seniors don't know what the civil war was about meanwhile we have a homelessness epidemic meanwhile Right, we've got the state oppressing a bunch of people, sending them to court for frivolous nonsense, right? And then they're going to waste our taxpayer money on something that should have been done hundreds of years ago for free? The fuck? The fuck? What? So after the county commissioner meeting, we decided to march down Colonial Avenue, where the Black Lives Matter, uh, the currently defaced Black Lives Matter street mural is. And as you can see, I got some shots. The sunlight in the background, that's one of my favorite things, is when the sunlight's in the background. Uh, I got some really good photos. Check that out. Oh, bada boom. Look at that. Look at that. See, isn't that great with the shadows being cast? It's amazing camera work. I like, I gotta say, like, I'm doing a good job here. Um, and so we continued down, uh, the Colonial Avenue Black Lives Matter street mural. 
and we decide to occupy the streets. Uh, again, again, we haven't had any permits for this. This is an unpermitted protest uh, as of this current moment. So, for anyone out there that was curious on what we're doing with permits, these are unpermitted pro uh, protests. We've been walking in the streets uh, haphazardly and then getting out of them and then getting on the sidewalks before police could do anything. And this has kind of been our MO for the last uh, couple days. And then for whatever reason, that cop like just like ran away. I guess they had to do something else. And then we went circled around back onto Main Street. And as you can see, we went from Main Street all the way back down to the courthouse. And then people dispersed to go to the city council meeting. I did not go to the city council meeting because I was exhausted. Uh, but I did go to the county commissioner meeting. I'm going to make a separate video on, my, on that one too. Um, but again, we had some good numbers out here. We haven't been doing many street protests because we've been doing county drive throughs uh, which have been super effective. And if you want to go watch uh, more of my opinions on that, you can go do so in those videos. But I'm glad that we're back on to the uh, street protest. We're going to be mixing things up. And this was a pretty good day. Uh, I like doing separate demos. I like the spontaneous uh, production of separate demos. Like we, did, like, we were planning on doing one after the county commissioner meeting. And then people were like, I want to do it before the county commissioner meeting. And, of course, I'm like, okay, let's do it. And uh, so then we did. And then we did before and after. And it was great. And, again, uh, things are getting fierce in Elizabeth City. Things aren't stopping. Things won't stop. And that's extremely important to understand. And so I'm glad to have been there since day one. Um, and I am super glad and very proud of this entire community. Again, this is a community of about 18,000 people, 20,000 maybe, um, that are continually out here marching almost every single day. Um, I missed one day of protesting because I had to do other things that were protest adjacent. So I did technically protest that day, but it wasn't with the group. Uh, but either way, I've been out here for 83 days in a row. And I've seen the, the highs and the lows, number-wise. I've seen the energy levels come and go. And again, I am very, very confident with Elizabeth City as of this current moment in time. Um, and uh, this is just great stuff. So again, I'm super proud of everyone here. And I just, you know, we are all, especially everyone else besides me, is a very beautiful and special people. And again, this is something that doesn't happen. This is a historic display here. And I, I don't want to, like, fluff it up or anything too much, but this is a historic display. This is historic. I, I don't, like, it, it is simply, it's history in the making, and uh, I'm very proud to be a part of it.